will die someday, sometime. Heart failure at the bank, a choke on a mint, some long drawn out disease, a contracted on vacation. You will die. You will absolutely die. Even if you avoid this death, another will find you. And I guarantee that it won't be nearly as poetic or meaningful as what she's written. I'm sorry, but it's... It's the nature of all tragedies, Harry. The hero dies, but the story goes on forever.
flies off the handle. I see it now. I see what Tess was talking about. she sent to me. Sam, I can only account for what occurs on the base.
anything in the world. I don't show me any country. And there'll be people in it. And it's the people that make the country. And people have got to stop pretending they ain't on the world. People are running about following their little tracks. I am one of them. But we've all got to stop just following our own little mouse trail. We've got to... People can do anything. This is something that I'm beginning to learn. I'm, people are out there doing bad things to each other. It's because they're being dehumanized. It's time to take the humanity back into the center of the room and follow that for a time. Greed, bullying, going anywhere. The richest person in the world is the most unhappy one. They should have that in a big billboard across Times Square. You know, think on that. Without people, you're nothing. That's my speech.
That's it. Hold on. Boom. Baby. Hmm? I got I, I got well I didn't make it, but I got us a song. You know, like our song that would just be for you and me. Because everybody's got songs, but they're lame. And they all share them. You know, it's disgusting. Not us. We have our own song. Do you wanna to listen to it?
And honestly, being an animal activist can be really hard because every year 100 billion, over 100 billion animals are killed by and for humans. That's billion with a B. So it's challenging. But on another hand, being an animal activist is kind of easy because all I have to do is remind people of what they already know and remind people of what they already feel. Because I assume everyone here, except for the sociopaths, has had that experience of like bonding with a cat or bonding with a dog and feeling that heart expanding love. And of course, I mean, as I've been doing this for a long time, I've learned many things that have sort of reinforced my animal activism. Um, the fact that animal agriculture is the second leading cause of climate change, that 75% of antibiotic resistance, the plague that awaits us all, is a result of animal agriculture, because the animals on factory farms are treated so badly and they're so sick, the only thing keeping them alive are mega doses of antibiotics. The role of animal agriculture in cancer, diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer, obesity, the fact that 90% of rainforest deforestation is attributable to animal agriculture. 50% of ocean acidification comes from animal agriculture. So all these facts sort of strengthen and buttress my activism. But at the end of the day, what sustains me as an activist is love. The unconditional love I had for all the animals I grew up with, and the unconditional love I have for all animals. And I think that's the best part of who I am, that selflessness, and love and patience and kindness. And I think it's the best part of who we are.
ich spiele noch einen Song für euch. Ich bin N13. Vielen Dank fürs Zuhören.
Okay, vielen Dank fürs Zuhören. Ciao. Macht's gut. Schönen Abend noch. Ciao.